So I got the air conditioner, um, the electric igniter, coal igniter, everything's running. <laughs> uh, this type of living is yes, a lot of preparation and sometimes you don't, you can't prepare a hundred percent of anything. Sometimes you just gotta go and say like, yeah, if you have to do this. So. I bought this generator to go with the RV and I'm really happy now because it's really hot in there. I wasn't gonna toast. I got my barbecue ready. I could have lit it with like with stuff, but this is always I always use this kit, so that I'm really happy about this. I remember every summer we used to go to Picton in Ontario. We had a cabin. We had a good time. I don't know when these family days are dead and gone. And we had, well, bad memories with that, but there's. Anyways, but. And I heard so many stories about my grandfather starting over, like changing cities and building a company, building something from scratch, and to be able to provide for his family and he was always a resourceful people in the village or in the city where he lived and he learned so many things on his own did so many things including having an RV build his own RV too so this is like following the footsteps of my grandfather that's the example I'm trying to follow right now found a new job in a new area something new we have to do uh, we have to do it it's uh, I got to get out of my conf comfort zone and we got to do it this often wish I had like, some tomato juice or something oh I don't do this often oh yeah <laughs> I can't get any fucking better <laughs> thanks for watching guys Woo! let's put some music on